it's Melanie and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to sew uh, your own crib sheet. Um, this will go on a standard crib size mattress so also it would work for a toddler bed. This would be great for any of you mommies out there that are decorating a kids room or um, getting ready for a baby and you have a very specific design sense or you want a crib sheet that you can't find anywhere. This is really easy to make. I'm going to show you all the steps on what to do so let's get going. So get ready to cut your fabric. I'm just putting a pin on the right side of my fabric. I have the wrong side facing up. So if you have fabric like mine where it's kind of hard to tell, I just put a pin in so that I would be able to keep track. You want to measure your fabric. It's gonna need to be 45 by 67 inches wide. So I'm just putting a little notch at the 45 inch mark so that I know where to cut over at my cutting table. See below for all the measurements, everything you'll need will be in the description box. So over at your cutting table, use a rotary blade or scissors and cut those selvage edges off. Next you see there's my notch and you're just going to fold the fabric nice and straight and cut that excess off. Then I just laid the fabric back down on the floor and double checked to make sure that I was close on my measurements. As long as you're within an inch, it will be fine. This doesn't have to be super precise. The next thing you need to do is cut out an eight inch square from each of the corners. Use a pencil or water soluble pen and cut out an eight inch square. Make sure you do this all the way around. Next thing you wanna do is there's my pin so that I can keep track of the right side. And you wanna place your right sides together so that you can sew down this seam. Line up all of your edges and make sure you backstitch really well on the front and on the end. The next thing I did was zigzag stitch down that seam just to help with the fraying when it's in and out of the wash. Make sure you backstitch well. Here's that seam all done. Do it for all four sides. Next thing you need to do is iron the casing for the quarter inch elastic. Just iron about, about you know, a little more than a quarter inch. Just make sure that you, it will fit. Iron it all down and pin all the way around the sheet. The next thing you need to do is sew around the entire casing. Make sure you backstitch and stitch really close to that folded edge all the way around. When you get to the end, you want to make sure and leave about a one inch space, backstitching really well so that you have an opening for your elastic to be threaded through. See, there is that opening. Next, take a safety pin and attach it to your elastic. It's easier to feel the safety pin as you're threading it through that casing. When I have a small tail left, I like to pin it to my sheet just so that I don't lose it in the casing as I'm threading it through. Once you're done, pull your ends out and you're gonna need to stitch them together. Make sure they're facing the right way Overlap them and you're going to use a zigzag stitch to attach them together. Make sure you go over it several times. Then you need to close up that opening, back stitching on either end, and you're done. Okay guys, that's it. Super easy. Um, if you have any questions or problems, comment below. I do my very best to help you guys out and try to answer any of those questions. Um, also subscribe. It's free to subscribe, so I'd really appreciate it. Um, thumbs it up, like it, and share it with your friends, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye!